you are on my first <gasps> trip, first tour I've ever hosted. The inaugural. Yes. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel, and I made it to Rome. And we've got our Trova trip with Laura Caldwell. <laughs> Everybody has their luggage. Yes, I do. Have There's a statue with some words all over it. <laughs> Cannot read it. There's hieroglyphics, and there's bars in the windows. Is that the prison? Maybe it's just a very important place. Cristo Salvatore, in honor of John the Baptist? Is that what it says? That's great looking. Great looking building. Oh, there's a building up there too. This place is full of buildings. Oh, look, it's a gateway. Oh my gosh, and there's plants growing on this side of it. They just dropped us off here at the Best Western Hotel President in Rome, and we are getting our luggage. So cool. Oh, it's over there. Mine's already out. It's down here. There it is. Well, they've got coffee and water with fruit in it. This smells so dark. I'm gonna try, it's really piping hot. I feel like it's burnt though. It's burning my fingers. There's bread and stuff all in here underneath this cloche. We are walking in here in the streets of Rome and Robin is with me. And she is one of the people from the Trova trip here in Italy with Laura Caldwell. And my gosh, it's great. So we are just heading down the streets of Rome. We have a little time on our hands and we decided to head over to the Colosseum. Now, I don't know how far of a walk it is, but it seemed like it was a good idea. So we can walk and hopefully get there. I've been drinking this super dark coffee that I thought was burnt at first, but I think it's just part of the, <laughs> part of the thrill of it. Santa Maria's Institute. Look at that, they've got palm trees here. How did that happen? I assume we're still going the right direction for this Colosseum. I think we'll know what we'll see it. Oh, Roman pigeons. Look how stoic they are. I thought that might have been the Colosseum from afar, but it's definitely not. <laughs> but that's a really, I like that building over there too. These streets are even nice. Oh wow, that doorway. Beautiful door. Look at the knockers on this door. Oh my gosh. A matching set and the knobs. There's hieroglyphics, like legit, on that column, that pillar. There's a bell going off too. Look at those old bricks. They are really cool. Ooh, there's a ambulance. Well, it turns out, I think we were going maybe the wrong way, but I was told by one person that it was gonna take 30 or 40 minutes to walk it, but then I don't believe that, so we're gonna try. <laughs> we'll, we'll let you know, actually. Oh my gosh. Uh, okay, turns out uh, we just went in a, a, a circle. I thought maybe that happened, and then, and then you were like, no, <laughs> nothing. Yeah, it was a circle, because now we're back by the sunglass place. <laughs> We are now on the right track and I'm so happy about it. Though those one girls, they were like, no, it's gonna take you 40 minutes. No, you do not know me and my legs. I, short. She was shorter. <laughs> she needs to worry about herself. <laughs> we stopped her. <laughs> <laughs> she helped the best she could. It's a beautiful street. Oh, it is a really nice cloudy day here in Rome. Oh, look at that yellow building over there. So the Colosseum is just beyond this brown building. So I hope, <laughs> allegedly, <laughs> it's been said before. Do you see what I see? It's the Colosseum. Just up that way, it's part of it. And it gets bigger. Oh, what's this? That's so pretty as I look at ruins. My gosh, look, it's the Colosseum again. And look at all the people. We're walking. That is so great. 
We're not gonna go inside of it. We're just gonna look at it because it's like a whole thing to go in there. We almost got hoodwinked. We did. I, don't I was know actually that... a little afraid he was going through our bags or something because he was distracting Well, us. there was a lot of people there. That's true. I know, like David Blaine. Yeah, I was just like, why would you want to distract me and give me things? Yeah, he's oh. like, he gave me this bracelet. <laughs> and then he gave me, he's like, you know what? I give you more. Yeah, because my family. Because my family. He and he's his family against us. Yeah, he's like, we will, what do you have for my family? I'm like, I have a water bottle. He said, you, what do you have? Anything. So Anything. I felt like a fun present. <laughs> he's like, I kind of wanted money. Yeah, I think he was kind of mad. I gave him a notebook. <laughs> It's like, all right. I was like, you gave me a turtle, I gave you a notebook. It seems I, we gave the turtles back. We did. I did, I did get a bracelet. I did. Uh, his Hakuna Matata bracelet, he said, is what was. I think he's lying. Yeah, I think, I think he's, I don't know who he is, actually. He's a nice man. I made it to the Coliseum. I see him. <laughs> There's the Col. <laughs> Not a joke. It's me. It's me. Hello, it's me. Oh my gosh, it's so great. And look, there's more over there. I, it's like a walkway maybe? I see, I'm kind of ignorant to some of this. I don't know what that is over there with the people on it. I guess they put all this brickwork in here to finish it. I mean, like it says, like when they did it, I suppose, right there on that placard. Wow, here's another angle of it with the three arches. Oh. It's better than the double arches. I don't know. <laughs> got a quarter pounder. <laughs> <laughs> it's wonderful. There's three arches and there's people on top of it too. You've got four men on top of the columns and they're overseeing Rome. I just made that up. I really don't know the point of this. I think people walk underneath it and get married. And it'll bring you good luck. And happiness. And children. Good luck and children. <laughs> Whether you want them or not. Whether you want them or not, they just show up. We are out walking again a little bit later. Ooh, we're cold. And why are you here? <laughs> you are on my first trip, first tour I've ever hosted. The inaugural. Yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> here in Rome. And we're going to Florence. And there's a third, Tuscany. Tuscany, yeah, we're gonna make pasta in Tuscany. We're going in. I found the entrance. Oh gosh, and I found a, <laughs> almost tripped. It's another palm tree. Huh, I oh, want another one over there too. Everybody else in the group was a little too tired to make it out for this little trek. I should have been too tired, but I'm only 33 and in Rome one time. And it's this time, so. Oh, oh this is so pretty. I can't read a word of that, but <laughs> it's wonderful that there's a, like a lion. Oh, oh wow, the, the electrical running through the top, that's funny. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. And it goes over that way too. Wow. The slippers? Like the slippers. Oh my gosh. All perfectly cut and stacked. Wow. These flowers smell so good on the street here. Wow, graffiti. Oh, the streets are so nice. We are just headed back towards the hotel. Oh wow, they parked very interestingly too. <laughs> How does that work? It is now a few hours later and I am heading down to meet up with the whole group. We'll talk. And then we're gonna head right on over to the hotel, or not the hotel, we're in the hotel, to the restaurant. So that ought to be cool. And there's a mirror in here, so I can look at myself. We are all headed out to the restaurant now. We went through like an entire meeting uh, with Laura and the tour guide, and they explained everything. So that was really interesting. We got to get to know everybody. And now we're gonna head, like I said, to the restaurant, which is like a prefix menu. As the sun's going down, there's that big obelisk up there. But yeah, we're just taking about a five minute walk over to our restaurant now. Wow, they got this water here at the table. Beautiful. This is the first course, the risotto, with a little shrimp on there. He still has his eyeball. 
That's concerning. And my bread and wine. And I know I normally don't drink wine, but I, I have to. Here, it's Ritorna. The risotto was amazing. There was the mussels that I tried. Then these like little animals, these little creatures. Some of them I think were just for decoration because they didn't really have much going on in them. But then a couple of them did. I don't know what they are. They have like little feet, but they were good too. How pretty. Sea bass and potatoes. I don't think it's yogurt, but it looks like yogurt. Yeah, I think it's like a sorbet maybe. That is really good. It's pretty strong. I don't know how much of it I can have, but it, it kind of makes me feel like maybe like egg white and sugar and ice and lemon. So that was really great and we just finished dinner tonight and I think we're all going to head back to the hotel which is a five minute walk up the road. It's very nice to talk to all these people and this room was so busy. So busy with everybody in our group here. Very loud but it was really, it was really nice. There's part of our party trying to get out in the elevator and I don't think it's going to work. Oh my gosh. Too many people. So it is the next morning and it's about seven o'clock. They just had bells going off outside, like church bells. It was really cool. Well, not like church bells, but you know what I mean? Like bells. <laughs> so you know what time it was. Oh my gosh. This is so cool. I just realized this window opens. And then I just like crack this window. It's huge. I crack the window open. <gasps> I just walked down to the breakfast area and they have all of these items here. I'm not gonna eat too much this morning because we have a gastro tour. And that's beautiful. They have all these pastries here, some fruit. There's some meat. Looks like there's some hot options over there. Eggs and pancakes maybe? Yeah, lots of things. All these, I guess, cured meat like salami, baked Parma ham and then some cheeses. I just decided to get a couple eggs, a little pastry here, a peach and some water and coffee this morning. Here we have somebody else in our group. They have this nice spread, maybe a frittata and some, and some cheese. I'm not much of a cheese and meat person in the morning. I'm just, I can't get behind it. And you got like a little sandwich going. I got, you've got your coffee and water. You find me hilarious. Why? I don't know. The ceiling is so pretty in here. Well, thank you. Yes, yeah. it was all you. <laughs> the water is so pretty. Look at this. They have these bottles of the water. It is so lovely. Oh, that one's empty. Here, let's try again. Aqua Chiara is what it says. Oh, I'm not left-handed, but here I go. Beautiful. Oh, water. So, Laura, what are we doing today? Hi, we are going on a food tour. We're going to eat all the food of Rome. Oh, my gosh. I'm, I'm so, so excited. excited. <laughs> oh, is this our coach? Is our bus. Oh here. my gosh. Yeah. Coach is setting it correct way, you know, because a nice the nice bus we call coach. In uh -huh. Italy, when you start calling coach, all the Americans, what do you mean by the way? It's a coach. It's not a bus, it's a coach. Oh wow. Look how fancy. Grazie, grazie. <laughs> or we say ciao if you want to be buongiorno we use with everybody is also formal not formal instead ciao we always use ciao but if you saw you saw it right yeah because sycamore very good they look like sycamore trees, trees right but they are sycamore and they are very around good the tiber in summer river because in summer in rome is hot so so where we go right now is exactly in the oldest part of rome this is the oldest one, it's very nice. It's called Trastevere. I thought it'd be interesting if you saw some of the money here. There's a five, isn't that cute? It's like a little, and there's like holographics on it. They got the buildings on there. Or That like shiny number, isn't that pretty? It's so lovely. Well, yeah, and then we also- There's like a little- I show you how they do. Oh. Yeah. That's so nice. No, no, go a little bit far. You just okay. drink it. Yeah, take a bit over there. Oh, over, okay. Indirect? Yes. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. 
<laughs> wow, squirts right in your it, never mind. And this is yes. called the nose because it's like a shape of the nose, right? Oh, okay. Yeah. That's, That's so why. cool. Now I, I'm doing once more. Okay. All right. I didn't mean there to. There we go. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just yes. dying of thirst. So the like, flowers are so pretty. That looks refreshing. <laughs> I want some. It's like, I'm not that big over. She's, she's going to get the cup. Yeah. <laughs> I know. You here to go? <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> I'm thirsty though. Yeah. <laughs> My problem is the way I do it. Flowers are so pretty here. It's like a little sprinkle in this morning. They have those water fountains all over the city apparently. How pretty is that? This is the gastro tour this morning, so we're gonna see all types of food and then consume it afterward. Oh, sorry. Well, hello. <laughs> I did not mean to do that. Oh, it's hey, fine. Jack, I have a for yes. You. Do you give me permission to put you on YouTube? Sure. I've never yeah. been there before. <laughs> <laughs> Just wanted to make sure I'm asking everyone. Okay. <laughs> There's the main part of the group there. It's sprinkling a little bit. How pretty is that building? It's so lovely. And that fountain over here. Oh, there's like this little corridor here and it goes through there. Looks like maybe some private residences. Look at the floor, how pretty. We peek in, I don't think it matters. Oh, wow. So lovely. We are all walking towards the gastro area. It's like this food tour, so we're gonna get to try out different food here in the streets of Rome. Green plus? Oh, sorry. The what? I, th I didn't realize your video. It's fine. Though the green plus sign. Apparently it just means pharmacy. Oh, it means pharmacy, not drug, not okay. special drugs. <laughs> Here's the bird watcher of the group. Looking for birds. Or I don't know, he's looking in these windows maybe. <laughs> this is such a pretty road. Oh my gosh. All the way down and the cobblestone path. A lot of Rome has graffiti on it, I've noticed. For better or worse, I don't know. But it's just so pretty. We've got like a little convenience store here, ATM. I wonder if I need more monies. We're not supposed to? No Euro net. No, no Euro net. net. They're bad on fees. Yeah, they're, what did she call them? She called them um, the rip off machines. Yeah, rip, rip off machine, she calls them. Yes. Oh, that's so pretty. That's such a vibe. No, no, no. <laughs> Apparently, according to our bird watcher, there is a Roman parrot on the line. Ring, ring. Hello. I found another one. I'm gonna get a little water. This is so cute. They have like these little books out here. Oh my gosh. Looks like Laura found some stuff too. What's happening? What'd you find? Little books. This is a little <gasps> Roman book. Oh my and gosh. This one. Look at this one because it has kitty cats. Little sketches. Oh my gosh, how much? Isn't that cute? 10 euro for both. Wow. And this one has an old map that folds out yeah, there's another one. of Rome. <gasps> and so I could even take this out and frame it. That's amazing. So we show up and they start putting out all the brass. The what? All the brass? <laughs> okay, this is amazing. I didn't know this was going to even be here. They have a thing of Smurfs. I know. <laughs> We're getting so excited. We're like, bring it out, keep yeah. bringing it out. We have this like market with all the fruits of their labor, <laughs> with all the fruit and the people. <laughs> oh, how great. This vendor's getting some real good action right now because most of our group is buying his items. I know Laura got a couple books, a couple other people did. So we're just kind of hanging out here, getting ready for our food. And the setting is so nice though. We broke up into two groups and our group we just kind of introduced ourselves a little bit But we now are going to go on a food tour a tour guide here In the central Italy in the region Obo and famous for the pork meat, the truffle and the cheeses 
La Cozzilli has been a family-owned business for four generations, in fact. Here you're going to be tasting the very best selling, which is that piece of meat over there. Ooh, we're tasting some meat. We're going to be tasting porchetta on a base of pizza bianca, wet Ooh. pizza. So it's not bread, it's actually pizza. Oh, we're gonna be it's not just bread, it's pizza. With some San Carlo wine. San Carlo wine is made with three different grapes. Sangiovese, Barbera and Merlot, in fact. Entrata. Oh. So this is where you go in on the side. You got meats wrapped up for their protection. Loosely with some twine. Look at that big wheel. Big wheel keep on turning. Proud Mary keep on burning. Rolling. Rolling. Apparently, this is well, this is from 2012, and apparently banks will take this as collateral. The fish. Ooh. As they do, as they always say. Il, uh, don't eat me. Don't eat chicken. Eat more chicken. Oh, we'll get picture, picture, picture. Yeah, don't touch. Don't touch. Oh, it's so beautiful. Ah, oh, now you can have. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. So we have the pizza with the porchetta. Porchetta is that piece of meat. So this is pizza. Pork loins, oh, so with the oh. rosemary, black pepper, salt, a touch of garlic, and then slowly roasted. Oh, that is so good. They're gonna bring a little wine out for us. <laughs> wow, that's what I was gonna Look at do. this. That's beautiful. That looks so good. It's looking like the blood of Christ. Salute! No, no, no. Not on me? You're okay. Okay. You are not blessed this time. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get my bottle. Mmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. mm. It's a very local wine. Easy one. Oh, good. How much was this? 15. Oh, that's good. 2021 year. Okay. Represent. Mm -hmm. It was a terrible year, but all right. Yeah, I know. Terrible year, but it was good for grapes. <laughs> Well, we are on to the next place. Our tour guide is leading us. Now, this is the tour guide just for the food portion of this. And like I said, there was another half of our group that went with the other guy. So we are just going to keep going. I was just talking about them. And there's Laura. We found you. French meat surprise. They didn't know what was inside. Yeah. We're talking about arborio rice, risotto rice, cooked risotto tomato rice? sauce and beef, filled with oh. a heart of fresh mozzarella, dipped in breadcrumbs, deeply fried in sunflower oil. Oh the my. full name of supli in Rome is telephone supli because when they are freshly prepared, they make a telephone wire with the mozzarella cheese. Oh, oh the supli here. So I said, don't mistake those with arancini. Arancini okay. are from Sicily, mm -hmm. and they're made in a different wow. way. So that's why I said, don't think Ita yeah. Italy has a national food. Italy has a regional food. How did you like it? They have today's Amazing. I thought so too. That was one of the best mm. things, yeah. I can't wait. Oh, uh, so good. Supri. Supri. We're on to the next stop. I'm anxious for it. This gastro tour, as they call it, has been great so far. I'm learning some pronunciation along the way. So the Colosseum, Colosseum, eh, not an e, Colosseum. We have tomato sauce, parsley, garlic, and a touch of chili pepper. I'll be mm. right back with the napkins. We're done, oh. it's illegal as she said, we never use it. Oh, it's not pineapple, it's, no, potato? it's potato? No, never, potatoes. Oh. We never put pineapple. What? Never. As she said, it's illegal in Italy. Really? This you do only in the States with pineapple. Yeah, I don't, I don't even like that. Yeah, we shouldn't. No. It's wrong. It's not it's, right. It's morally wrong. Oh, wow. uh, pineapple and pizza and this, is Now you know how to oh, no. is, This isn't a DiGiorno, is it? <laughs> it's not DiGiorno. Wow. No, I think we should be more excited. Look at that bread. It's delicious. Oh, wow. A marinara version now. So this one's like cheese. <laughs> and the next one is more of like a it's more of a marinara this time. Okay. Mm. Oh, my. This smells so good. I'm anxious for it in my mouth. Who wants one more? Beautiful. <laughs> I know. I'm surprised. I didn't know you were going to be here in Rome. I know. When did you get here? I got your two days ago. 
out. You know, me too. Yeah. We, um, should, we should hang out. Okay, maybe later. Santa Maria in Trastevere. Oh. Wow, it's very tall. This fountain is so cool. We're doing a group photo now. Group photo. All right, we got our photo. It's such a pretty area. I was told the first mass was held here. All the iron work. That is so nice. Oh my gosh. It's like a scrapbook. Wow. Well, look at that. So this is a tomb? Yes. There's a, oh my. And it says all about it there. Oh my gosh, it was amazing. Did your group enjoy it? We had no fun at all because no. we weren't with Jeffrey, so it was just like lame and boring. No, I'm just kidding. We had a great time and we loved the food. Yes, <laughs> all the architecture, amazing. You're gonna go home and start looking for things with gargoyles now and lion heads. Yeah, and like little babies washing their hair. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna pass on the little baby part, but <laughs> you do you. All right. We are now walking again to our next area very anxious and I'm going to be pleasantly surprised I'm sure that is so pretty look down there and there's like this white alcove area that is so pretty although we're not going that way we're gonna go this way by the graffiti Rione 13 Rione is the district in Rome so Rome is divided in different Rione the district number of Trastevere is 13 so that's why it's called Rione 13. Oh, there is some authentic Italian music playing. Oh, our table. Our table. I think I'll sit in the in inside. the in the inside. The floors are so pretty in here. They have all of these hand painted tiles. One, two, three, four, five. Six. So there are hexagon tiles this way where the other group is. They got us split up in our sections here, but we all kind of reconvened after we went separate directions. And Laura's over here in this group. <laughs> it's such a really pretty place. Oh my God. That is beautiful. They're gonna serve it up family style here. Oh, I just found out that's the vegetarian option. It's like a marinara. Oh, wow. This is one of my favorite. This is by Nori Rom. Cacio and pepper is one of the best pasta you can make. We serve this, you need to mix it. There's no cream in the cacio and pepper. Actually, if you tell a Roman we put cream in the cacio and pepper, we will be offended. We have olive, pecorino romano, and a little bit of water from the cooking pasta. Oh, I'm so excited for this. <laughs> now, what is this one? Cacio and pepper. Cacio and pepper. Did she say cacio and pepper? I don't think she said cacio and pepper. Cacio and pepper. <laughs> All right. Well, that was fantastic. We are now headed to get gelato. So we are going to head out of here. Tight quarters on this side of the table. Robin and I are going to shimmy on out. It's fantastic. Ooh, gelato. I'm so excited. My first time having gelato in Italy. Gelateri. It's gonna be so hard to choose. Punch Paradise. Oh my gosh, strawberry lemon. What will I do? So you can have, we can have two options in our cup or cone. Yeah, I love it. Ginger, horseradish. Ew. That's disgusting. <laughs> you can keep it. Ick. Sol di Cecilia. It's good morning, love. Oh. Um, with little whipped cream on top. I'm so anxious for that one. So, I mean, I just couldn't decide. I just grabbed one at random. It looked beautiful. This is everything. I am so happy with my choice. There's like berries in there, chocolate. It's light. It's delightful. Everything about this is what I want in life. Oh, this is so great. We are now walking to probably complete our little food tour. But it has been an amazing morning here. 